All right. So the last game, probably the biggest game. I think it's the game. I think it's the game all college football fans want to see, right? Rematch of Notre Dame Clemson. Yes. So this is the four o'clock Eastern game. This is middle of the day. There's really no competition because all the other championship games are early or later. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get to watch this. It's on ABC. Talk to me about how you feel. I'm, I am really excited for this game. I, uh, you know, because obviously the winner, the winner is going to play in the college football playoff, but I feel like this game, uh, even though people think it's a rev- people will call it a, re- a revenge game. Yeah. I'm not so sure if it is a revenge game. Uh, you know, I, to me, I think Notre Dame's got a lot to lose, unfortunately, that really? they've got to play. Cle- yeah. Because I mean, they've already beaten Clemson. They've got to beat them twice. What, but the problem is, is that if Clemson beats Notre Dame, they're one and one. So yeah. then how do you determine who goes to the college football playoff? You They're both gone. Man. If you, Clemson wins, Notre Dame's in. You, Notre so, Dame's regardless. It's all it becomes a matter of so this is something I've thought about. There's no way they're not going to take a one loss Notre Dame team, especially how dominant they've been. Now the question becomes how far does Notre Dame drop? Do they drop to three where you see a rematch of Clemson Notre Dame part three? Or do they drop to four where likely Ohio State jumps them and then you have Notre Dame Clemson? Okay. That's my main concern with them. Do they want to play uh, Notre Dame, Alabama? Do they want to play Alabama? Okay. Okay. I, I was a little worried that if Notre Dame loses this game, that they might drop as low to five. Yeah. That makes so, sense. So that, you know, and, and to me, that's why I feel like they've got more to lose. Um, but in any case, I mean, if, if both, if, if you feel that both teams are going to make it to the college football playoff win or loss, regardless Mm-hmm. Then I then yeah I mean even so I still think that the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are going to win this game. No. So yes, I do. You're the I only do. one. There's like a they they got a spread like by over ten points. Clemson has a spread. Everybody's picking Clemson. They do. They do. They're favored by ten points, and I frankly don't know why. Because mm-hmm. if you ask me, if you ask me, Notre Dame when they played Clemson, uh, they. Uh, their Clemson's backup quarterback, uh, Uyagalele, had a fantastic right. game. Had, did I say it right? I don't oh, know. I, I don't know either. I don't know. Either. It just came out. It just came out. It's, DJ it's, Uyangale. Yeah, Uyangalele, something like that. Yeah. I He had a fantastic game. He threw for over 400 yards. Yeah, to me, he, he to me, those numbers looked exactly like Trevor Lawrence's numbers. I yeah. mean, I think I, you know, I think you could look at that and say a uh, very easily Trevor Lawrence could have put up those numbers and they still would have lost. I think where the game was lost on Clemson was on third down yeah. where they were not good on third down and Notre Dame was able Four to get 15. off the field. Yes. That's where I think the game was won and lost, frankly. And I think that we're going to see, I think can Clemson improve on their third down conversions? Perhaps. But yeah. I, I feel like Notre Dame is just going to be able to stifle them defensively again in the in that same area. I yeah. like Notre Dame. I, I don't see why they can't win this. And I don't know why they're 10 point underdogs. I can understand maybe three points or seven points, but yeah. have we forgotten that they've that they've already played? In well, they one? beat What's... UNC. We talked about that. Yes. I mean, they let's held talk, UNC yeah. to like 300 yards when they almost put up 700 against Miami. Yes. Like, yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. They, their defense is, is highly underrated. They have a really good defense. I mean, that yes. talking about North, shutting down North Carolina's run game was huge. It yes. was huge. And Allowed the fact three points after the first quarter. Yeah. I mean, they, they are much better than I think everybody's giving them credit for. I don't yeah. know. Talk me off the ledge, Tim. What do you think? Well, Ian Book, too, is a good quarterback. I mean, he's not the level of Trevor Lawrence, but, I mean, he made some huge plays at the end, and he proved himself in that last Clemson game. So Ian Book's going to be a big deal. How he does is going to really maybe the tail of the tape. Sure. I'm leaning Clemson Mm -hmm. um, because Clemson has way more to lose. If Clemson loses, they're likely out, even though the college football playoff might be weird enough where Clemson loses, they still make it with two losses. 
Clemson loses, they're likely out, man. This is this will be the first time um, in a long time Dabo Sweeney would not have a team in the playoff. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like there's no way in hell that they're going to lose this game. This is the really the first time, though, that Clemson was has ever been challenged in the ACC title game because Notre Dame came into the ACC for this year. Normally, Clemson's playing some, like, Wake Forest or yes. some, like, joke of a game. Now yes. – actually have competition Mm -hmm. but especially with notre dame um kind of like i talked to you about they're missing their starting center they ran over 200 yards the last game but having that starting center out is huge along the line clemson is also um bringing back a, a defensive tackle and two linebackers who are injured versus notre dame so that's gonna be huge as well and i think having lawrence is having that experience in these big games where those third and five, third and five plays happen. He's mm-hmm. going to be able to rush. He's going to be able to get that quick completion. He, I just feel more confidence. He may not have as good of a stat line. He does throw a couple picks here or there, and he's probably, and he's going to be the number one pick. Yeah. I, I just, this feels like a game where Clemson's going to get the best in Notre Dame mm-hmm. and then. It's going to be round three, mm-hmm. and all bets are going to be off. But I just, I just don't like the fact that not having that center may throw off a lot of rhythm for the sure. offense. Notre Dame got a huge defensive touchdown in their last game when they won. They had to come back at the end despite that touchdown where they had to come back with like a minute left down a touchdown. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's going to happen again, especially with those playmakers on the Clemson defense, especially with them back. Okay. That's fair. I yeah. I, I mean, and I I agree with you about Trevor Lawrence. I think he he could definitely be the reason why they win this time. I thought last time. I thought in the first game when they played, I thought Notre Dame did a really good job on ATN, and uh, I, you know I can kind of see that continuing. But so it's I think it's going to come down to Trevor Lawrence, and I think he's ATN going to make was the, shut out. Yeah, I think he, yeah, I think he's going to make some big plays on third down. I can I can definitely see that happening. Uh, I could see both teams winning but i'm sticking to notre dame i think i think they're going to pull it out i think it's going to be a close game i think it's going to come down to the last possession but yeah i mean i like them 30 28 i think it's going to be really close yes i got clemson 38 28 okay okay so that's cool so the last thing i want to talk about then is based on our predictions my final college football playoff matchups would be you have Alabama mm-hmm. take on Ohio State. And then yes. I have rematch number two. I have Notre Dame, Clemson. Okay. So, but if you're saying Clemson's, if you're saying Clemson loses, bro, are you saying that, who are you saying comes out? Is it Texas A&M with their one loss? Did Texas I, A&M take the fourth seed? I think they sneak in. Yes. Oh. I, I see... I see Alabama versus Texas A&M, one versus four, and then I see Notre Dame versus Ohio State in the two to three match. That's what I see. So <laughs> we could come back on Monday yes, and talk about this. It's we have good. to because because I don't think any other team beats Alabama other than Clemson. Yeah. I just I just don't think Notre Dame has the firepower to and then you've got Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence just shows up in big games. That's but true. But dude, if that, if that happens, I think Notre uh, Alabama <laughs> might win both those games by 20 plus. I look, I I I don't think any team was going to beat Alabama this year. I mean, they were they are the 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 top of the top, man. They, mm. Nobody's beaten them. But you're right. If there's a team that has a chance, I mean, I think Ohio State has a chance. I think they've okay. got a pretty good chance. Yeah, I think, I think Justin, I think Justin Fields might have the game of his life against uh, a team like Alabama. I mean, I, I would love to see that matchup. Uh, I also mm-hmm. think Clemson can do it too. Yeah, it's just, it's, dude, it's been a weird year, man. Twenty twenty has been the craziest year ever. I'm expecting fireworks, you know. So yeah, that's bro. That's, I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna change prediction. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, wait, who do you got? Northwestern's going to beat Ohio State. No! No! Go Wildcats! Thanks for watching the Tim and Sam's (laughs) show.
please hit subscribe. Please like our video. Please tell your friends we're a new channel. We love sports. We want to hear from you. If you have any correct, if you have any opinions on what we should do, just please comment below. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. Have a wonderful right. night. Take care. Peace out. Yeah. Bye-bye.